Hey everyone, welcome back. It's time for another reading from Papa's Comic Books and Coffee. Let's see who decided to join us today. Well, today it's Daredevil. The Mutant Massacre continues. Number 238. 75 cents back in January of 1980. Seven. The author of this is Anne Nocenti, and of course the artist Sal Buscemi. All right, shall we just get right into it? Let's do it. The Tiger Lives by Fang and Claw. 500 pounds of tense sinew and coil power. He is violence even in repose. <clears throat> he sleeps, mats, hunts kills and eats. When in captivity or when domesticated, the tiger begins to exhibit unnatural behavior. He places the limits of his turf, eats stones and dirt, attacks without provocation, consumes his own waste. Ugh. But that is the animal. This is the man. Stan Lee presents It Comes With the Claws. Okay. Get out of my tunnels. No, that ain't... Uh, let's go, Jake, fast. No, he's not got no right. Sure he does. He's crazy. Look, the Morlocks are dead. Their tunnels are open turf again. There's room for all of us. My tunnels are my turf. Go away. Or I don't just put this mark of saber tooth on your face. I put it across your throat. And I want the woman... You can't, don't. Let her go, animal. No. Now that she's mine, I die for her. Jake, Bob, don't leave me. I don't die for nobody, sister. You won't hurt. Quiet. Please, I'll shut up. Your bed. Our bed. Something is missing. His lips curl and a feral rumble rolls deep in his chest. It's the hunger again. The man who goes by the name of the extinct tiger opens up his senses. Within seconds, he tastes, smells, hears. All the needs to the tunnels are empty for miles. Nothing to hunt or be hunted. He is saber tooth and he likes to kill, so he tries to get paid for it. These days, the big money is being paid to kill mutants. He's already slaughtered some Morlocks and is waiting for the go-ahead to take out the X-Men. In the meantime, there is his mate and there is sleep. The other thing will come soon. Those dang twisted tunnels lie below Manhattan. These man, This man prefers to stay above. This is Hell's Kitchen, and he is the self-appointed protector of all who walk the turf. A record-breaking leap takes him to the next rooftop. He lands sliding in as if into the game-winning run of <clears throat> home plate. His high jump is several feet past the Olympic record, but who's counting? He pauses tense like a runner at the starting line. He has no use for his sight, lost in a childhood accident. But the compensating radar sense acquired as a result of the accident tells him all he needs to know. Well, this is one fight I won't stop. None of my business. Guess these dogs would never share this alley. Animals are pretty selfish. When you think about it, at least if man doesn't have the instinct to give, he learns how. And here's the dogs fighting. And the better dog wins. That smell, the dog is eating moldy cake, coffee grind, garbage. This is the wildlife of the city, the jungle animals. We've poured so much concrete and steel onto the island of Manhattan, it sometimes doesn't even feel like a planet Earth anymore. Nothing left of nature, more benevolent side. And the beasts that dwell here eat garbage. What, a threat, a cry, three heartbeats, three men, gunpowder, enough for two guns, Four blocks southeast, 
He's off. His opening 40-yard sprint should get him a gold medal. He leaps with the ease of the first-place gymnast. Wrestles the man to the ground like the cowboy taming a wild bull. Daredevil. Ah, uh, blast it all. Not again. Yes, again. May I borrow your belt? Thank you. Sure, yeah, you're welcome. A running target. He tosses his billy club away like it's a bat of, of a slugger who already knows he just hit him out of the park. Hits him in the knee. Ugh! Why do you always run? Just stupid, I guess. We'll be out of here in a, we'll be out in a week. Don't I know it? So why bother? Brightens my day. Look at you, so cool, such hot stuff. You waiting for your thanks, hero, for the applause? I want to tell you something. I had a store on 40th and 7th, a little flower shop. Nice piece of business. Smell of flowers all day. Felt like the country. Kept my kids in new shoes. Once in a while, even a silk dress for my wife. But you brought that super soldier nuke here. You know, you, tore, you two tore up the whole neighborhood. The fires, the guns. It was like war bringing the war back. Then boom, and my store, my life is gone. So don't you dare save me from muggers. I'd rather take my chances with the street thugs than have a costume super bully protecting me. Don't you realize you attract more violence than you could stop ever? Get out of our city before you kill us. You're right, my friend. You and you're wrong, but I can't explain it to you. His gesture is still pure confidence. The toss perfect. Harry, what's wrong? Your face, your face, it's, it's, wow, gosh, radical, jeez, wicked, cool. Ah, no, purr, no, don't hurt her. Where's the hero? He, 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 please, somebody save her, dumb parlor. Don't touch her, he's going to get her. Rawr, he, gah, ah, butch, you rotten, I'll kill you, you stinking pizza-faced tadpole. Bugger, brain, rothead, children. Turn off that television. I won't have any son of mine hero worshiping or learning from violent role models. Honey, our son knows the difference between a TV hero and a real one. No, he doesn't. No more TV. But dad, the streets are tough. I got to learn how to be like Daredevil. No, those paramilitary vigilante bullies are the worst. As long as there are heroes like that, there will always be villains. Now get going to the library and don't let me catch you playing with Raphael and his gang of thuds. Of course not, Daddy. By Daddy, I'm going to the library now, Daddy. You little shrimp twits. You won't last 10 seconds in my gang. You'll be wetting your pants and crying in no time. Me and Dollar were just shaking in our boots, Raphael, or you just so scary, Butch. Well, grab your piece of the tunnel. Then it's a free-for-all since the Murlocs were wiped out. The tunnels are ours now. But then maybe the slime monster, mutant ninja alligators, the wasted Murlocs is still here. Or maybe there are still dead bodies in around. You chump, you ain't built on my fort no more steak. I said I claimed this spot. Hey, there's miles of tunnels. So chill out or I'll, you all what? Back off, you lizards. This is my gang, my tunnels, my turf. Arr, arr. Okay, shrimp twit. Go earn your steak. Find out what howled. Uh, uh, no problem. There's no such thing as monsters. Monsters are only made up on TV. Who woke me up? Help! You little insects, how dare you wake me? Hide me, but Raphael, use our leader. Hide me! I have slept, and now I hunger. This is New York, buddy. These streets are protected by Daredevil. Mess with us, and he'll find you and beat you up. Oh, yeah? He thinks New York is his? He's the toughest cat around. 
Sounds good to me. Uh-oh. what I do? Poor daredevil. Can't get what that guy said out of my mind. It's hard enough to get up every day and hit the streets, play the hero. I have to believe what I do is right. But if the people start telling me to leave, should I stay? A heartbeat. Someone's on the roof. But the scent, somewhere between a man and a tiger. His sense changed. He knows I'm here. But he doesn't know how fast I am. It's moving. It's quick. I'll duck behind. No, wrong move. Smash, slash. You're good. I'm better. So what? Now what's going on? Why do you want to fight me? Because you exist. One man, the trained man, the Olympic level athlete, the skilled sportsman, the gymnast, the acrobat, martial artist, fighter, against inborn guts, viscerals, instinct, pure bravado. May the better man win. I'm back in the alley where those two dogs fought. We're pacing, circling, just like the dogs. Roar. Oh no, not my Daniel. He's okay, ma'am, but get him out of here. Oh, Slash, why do I want to fight me? It comes with the claws. Not a Santa Claus. Crack, I've got a few fighting tricks he couldn't know about, but he's bigger than me, stronger. If he gets his hands on me, I'm dead. And I'll be doing is getting him mad. That's it. Go on, you. You think you'll have an advantage down on the pipes? Not enough room for me to use my fancy skills? He went for it. Many of those tunnels are pitch black. But you can't blind the blind men. This gives me the edge I need. His sense erratic. He's trying to throw me. I can't shake him. There's only one way he could be, be that. If he sees in the dark. Gotcha, chump. You ain't the only one with night sight. This is my element. No, of course, he's part cat. How could I have been so stupid? Roar, a cat gets a mouse. Crack, slash, eat. Crack, wham. Lady, get out of here. I'm tied up. I'll untie you, then run. You're a stupid devil man. You turn your back on me. You say you're the biggest bully on the block. You own New York? Huh, devil man. It's like you dare me, devil, to take you down. Oh, no, he's going for his heart. Please, dear devil, you have to win. Yuck, dad, look. He hunted and caught a mouse, but why doesn't he kill it and eat it? Why, dad, isn't that what animals hunt to eat? Now he's going for daredevil's throat. No. The cat is acting the old behavior pattern, son. He has the urge to hunt, but has forgotten why, poor cat. It isn't fair. When animals become too domesticated or live in an unnatural place like the city, they're too cut off from nature, from their own instincts. The hungers for the hunt will never know why. And they're fighting, and there's Crash. A corpse, one of the Morlocks, must have crawled away to die during the mutant massacre. What's he doing? He sniffs, tilts his head. He's not using his eyes. You're blind, devil man. Not bad. I'm impressed. And I'm trapped. He's dead, wild man, which is what one of us will be if we keep this up. The stench of death still smells sweet to you, wild man. Protect your throat, girl. Help me. And they're chasing. Wham, crank, pow. Heartbeat, weak, losing, blood, hunt, but shall live. She'll live. She's dead. Now what? What do you do with your, your skills? I don't know. It's the hunger. It makes me swat. Cut it out. You sick cat. It leaves me hungrier. He seems to throw back to another time, another world, and I'm too injured to follow. Oh, don't worry. He's gone. Did he hurt you while you were his prisoner? No. That's what was strange. He was so kind to me. 
He barely touched me. It's like he wanted me, but he wasn't sure why. I was scared, but more than that, I felt sorry for him. He's a man trapped in an animal's body. Seemed so confused, like he had an ache he could never fill. There, this will stop the bleeding. Thank you. You know, he was really very gentle. I'm so shocked he hurt me. I've heard of you, of the daredevil. Always thought you were a myth. Sometimes when I'd be out at night and I get scared, I'd wonder if you were real. I'd look up at the building tops and pretend you were there, watching me, protecting me, in Hell's Kitchen, my home. Then I'd feel safe. It feels so good. I know you exist. I just wanted you to know that. Thank you. And that's what, that's why I was hunted. Just because I exist. Next, meet the rat gut. Hey, only 54 cents for a copy. And that was it. Daredevil, the Mutant Massacre continues, number 238. Hope you enjoyed it. Once again, as usual, if you like this book, it is available on my eBay webpage, Papa's-Comic. Dash books. Visit there and you'll find a whole slew of different books also available. If you like this, give it a like. If you didn't like it, give it a dislike. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs down. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Once again, as I always say, that was easy. Until next time, Papa out.